Floating out in the open sea, this is a complete operating radio station. 24 feet below the surface, a hydrophone picks up underwater sounds. Someone listens, estimates the movements of the unsuspecting enemy sub while flying in an aircraft on patrol. He directs surface craft to the area where, with the aid of their own detecting devices, the ships close in for the kill. Its parachute checks the speed of descent and heads the buoy into the water bottom end first. Immediately, the hydrophone is released, swinging down on its cable to a depth of 24 feet, and the unit goes into action. Water is an excellent conductor of sound waves, so the noise of propellers, engines, or explosions can be detected over a wide area. The cable carries the sounds to the transmitter, and they are sent out as frequency modulated signals from the antenna, which is above the surface. Batteries keep the buoy operating for several hours. Signals from the buoy are picked up on a frequency mark. To mark the location of each buoy, a float light and die marker are dropped with every unit. At the proper signal from the pilot, the buoy is thrown like a spear, antenna end first. Drop. The sea marker or float light makes it easy for you to spot the position of each buoy from a distance. Stand by. Mark. reported the subcontact to his base, and the surface craft were dispatched to the area. Box from nine, box from nine, over. Nine from Fox, go ahead. This is nine, have re-established contact, have re-established contact. The pilot guided the service craft to the estimated position, marking it with two float lights. Here they attack with depth charges. Base TBF principles. Various tactical situations require different procedures and exact patterns. Only by learning these and adhering to them can the full effectiveness of sonar boys be realized.